Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. What's going on, everybody? And friend of the show, host of the Strat Chat podcast and the Kyle Petty show, hmm. Kyle Petty. Hi, hello. So happy to be back. Uh, we are glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. Uh, sorry, everybody, <laughs> missing last week. Appreciate Brian holding it down. Our schedules were crazy last week. Um, don't want to harp too much on last week's episode, but. Um, that dancing crap was ridiculous. That was such a bullshit choice between that. Like this season, like you said, Brian, in the review is been so lopsided in these detours. And I don't understand it. And the thing I don't understand more than that are the people choosing to do damn things like that. Like, why would you choose something that obviously seems crazy difficult? Why? Just because you like dancing? That's stupid. It's not vacation. It's a race. It's really what stuck in my head from last week. Yeah. And I wonder if like, people like, like trying to like, oh, is this going to be harder than it actually is appearing? And they're just kind of going, but like, you never know. I mean, we're not in the heads of the races, but I thought this week was a little more evenly matched. I agree. Um, this one, I think was the first one where I felt like we didn't have a drastic difference. Um, let's kick right in though, into this leg. This is the amazing race 36 episode five stress uh, save the stress for later uh we started this leg with nine teams and we did have an elimination uh we are in santiago chile to kick off this race chile is a very interesting country it's four thousand uh, miles long really crazy different landscapes uh topographies cold mountains beaches um i was interested to see this but santiago being the capital Again, seemingly a theme in this season, very small, condensed areas so far. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I just wish, I wish when, you know, when they get lost, I wish I would, we could see how far away they actually are from where they need to be. Like, yes. What's the level of lostness? Because I was getting really worried when Ron and Letitia were on the brink, like they're like really lost. And then they just are like, next commercial. Hey, we're here. Let's bang some drums. And it's just like, <laughs> what's the distance? I want to see that stuff. Yeah, it's a real missed opportunity. I would love to see like a map and then like see like if this is the yeah, like yeah, and this is like going like this. Like <laughs> yeah, driving away. Like it would be actually cool if they every commercial break they like went into a map and showed where everyone is. Like how like what's the distance? Even if it was a little yeah. more like even if it wasn't like totally like accurate on, per yeah, se. Just like a like hey, how lost are they really? Like is, are they like right. really far away? Are they five head lengths away? Like both their heads are there, like moving around in a car or something. Like I think it'd be kind of cool. Like it's, the game of life. Yeah. No, they they definitely could do the Brian. That I thought of two different options now. Uh one, you could have a live mini map in the corner, like you're playing yeah. to, like first person shooter, and you know, there's little mm -hmm. blips. Or, but like I don't know what made you think of that. It's like, oh, they could just even have a, a map that they draw to show us. It's it reminded me of those shows. I don't know how this made me think of this, but when we were younger, they would have those like ghost hunting shows. And they would go to the Dracula's castle or a haunted hospital. And then when, when they would come back from commercials, they would show like a map of the place and show where the different people were in relation to each other. It's like, why can't we do that with the amazing race? At least show them like a few blocks ahead, a mile. You know, I, I think that would help. I think it'd be really cool. And like not, not a Mario Party reference, but old Mario Kart. They used to have like the map like on the edge and you would like the racers would you could see moving. where everyone is yeah, yeah but like it would be like what's the distance like even if it's just made up at based yes, on it's it just moves. something pull us in a little more pull us in yeah uh yeah. the first route info was the romero uh performance garage it was the fine marilyn monroe's old car um they didn't it's very interesting like they mentioned that the car got stolen and like it shows back up there but they they never showed her I don't know because they not show her image for some reason. They di they just didn't give me enough of a story behind that. They're just like, oh, you just got to go find this car. Yeah, I didn't care about this. Just nothing like, to do like with said, like when there's no like like optics at all. It's just like okay, find a car, cool, bye. I cared so little about this that I completely forgot it even happened. <laughs> like when you're the like Marilyn Rose old <laughs> car, it was one of those things like, I think I looked down for two seconds. Maybe I checked the pizza that was in the oven and I came back, I'm like, what is everybody looking for? And it was over just like this. I'm like, oh, well, who cares? I guess that wasn't anything. Like that so, wasn't really like a real anything. Was it like, what was that? It's just fine. The hint. 
Yeah, all, all I took from this one was like who can actually drive stick shift, which is a major point in like the oh. amazing race. Like, how there good are you driving stick? And I, like, if you didn't say Mary Monroe, I wouldn't even have remembered that it was about that. I never knew it was. Best part of that sequence though was they had this this kind of wide shot when they were all looking for the cars and they kept like running back and forth on the sidewalk. It looked like a Scooby Doo episode, like with like the crowds just like running back and forth. I was like. I like that. Or I was watching an episode of like the monkeys or something. Like it was like you had that. It was like the speed up running. Yeah, yeah. We're like, and like somebody's chasing somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. They run into each other and they're both wearing different clothes. Like, yeah. Classic um, in the Barbera cartoons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're sticking in this Barbera family here. The, the, um, the map, the term, the, the idea of maps was really big too. this episode. It was, everyone was like, so enthralled that like they were, could use a map and how great maps were. And some of them just used them like shit, though, because half the people like you said, Brian, got lost. I have like four or five different bullet points with people saying they're lost. And I was so wrong. Like, I have a bullet point here that says busy and sunny are probably the most navigationally lost. Well, that turned out to not be true. Right. But the way they were leading, it's like they were gone. Rod and Letitia were in the mountains, but then they were like in fifth place. Like it was again, we keep very good notes here. And this season has me yeah. all over the place. All over the place. They did a full stop. Like they got out of the car, put the map on the trunk. Yeah. They're like, where are we? Argued <laughs> yeah. and still came in fifth. Right. That made yeah. me think they were way, way, way far back. But um, they weren't the only ones with like major issues because those cousins, um, the pink cousins, I don't know anybody's name. Uh, Har- Harishma, Harishma. Harishma. Yeah, Harishma and Kishori. Yes. Oh, boy. The stick shift with them. My goodness gracious. They could and not drive. No. And like, there's absolutely no way I could do this either. Have you, do you guys drive stick? I, I do not know how to drive stick. I have, it's but fine. I would definitely not be good right now. I learned like way oh, back when I learned how to drive, but that was 20 years ago now. But like Somebody we, tried to teach me once years and years ago, and I was so embarrassed. I just remember turning down like another residential road. The car was like jerking like this. Yeah. And like somebody was looking at me like at a stop sign. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like yeah. never again. Like, it's but mortifying. Like, if, you come, if you're going to go on the show, that is a must to learn. You need yes. to learn how to look Can't at a map. Do it. You need to know how to drive stick. You need to know. Can't be afraid of heights. Got to learn how to swim. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least if I can go with somebody who knows how to drive yeah, stick. Because I can I can read yes. a map. All right. I, paramount. Don't call me Rand McNally or anything like that. But I can handle a map. I, I can get around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the route info after that brought you to the skate park, Araquano. Um, apparently, they love skateboarding there. Big Tony Hawk. Shout out. You know, not again, not a Mario Party reference, but another great uh, video game reference. Probably one of the best franchises ever. If you are a 90s kid, you play Tony Hawk. It's just like what you did. Not all right, Kyle. Trust me, people will understand. Tony Hawk's the best. Tony Hawk uh, 3 was actually my favorite. Did you play Tony Hawk, Bri? Um, I didn't own, a, own it, but I played it. Okay. They have the like the remaster of one and two. I have that on my PS5 now. So that's that's actually like, a lot of fun to play. The whole oh, time so they were... still come out. Not yeah. new ones anymore, but it was oh, a re- remaster just, of the first two. They came gotcha. out like a few years ago. The whole time when they were building the skateboard, I thought of remember those ones when we were kids, Bill, where Tech you had decks. like Yeah, is that the ones where you use your fingers? Yes. Did you yeah. ever use this, Kyle? Oh, no, anyway. That came up at a at, at with like my group of friends over the weekend about tech decks and regular skateboards. So it's very funny that these things are popping up now. Uh, what a useless talent, by the way! Like you remember, I remember <laughs> you used to be so good at it, and it's like thinking about it now, it's so fucking so stupid. goddamn useless. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Um, I was with the girls making um, friendship bracelets out yeah. of like lanyard. Yeah. So maybe you guys are doing that and I'm making bracelets and selling them for $2. The roadblock there, guys, was who's feeling bored. You had to match the board, the truck, the wheels, and the deck of the skateboard. Frankly, guys, this is actually a pretty easy freaking challenge. The idea that they were making this sound so complicated you have to have the trucks facing the right way. You have to pick the same board and you have to have the right color wheels. The rest of it, the nuts and the bolts are just there. It is easy. The way that some people got stuck for 
again, I, I want to know how long they made it seem like it was hours, but were, was Christian them stuck for 15 minutes? Was it 20 right. minutes? Like a lot of people were getting things wrong and then able to fix it and go, like, how again, please just tell me how long these things were, because to me, this seemed absurdly easy for everyone to be making mistakes. Yeah, because I thought in the beginning when people were having like I don't remember everyone like being locked in like, oh, we need to copy this example. I I, I, I must have missed that when they, I thought the dude was just standing there like, yeah, look at my. No, they said he's the plan. sample. OK. He should have been moving, honestly, like moving around, make it a little more difficult where you need or like a couple boards going on at once. And like each team had a specific board they had to copy, like make it a little mm-hmm. more interesting, stuff like that. So people can't help each other. Yeah, this didn't look particularly difficult to me. I mean, like anyone who's put together anything at home should have been able to just look at this and put something together. I mean, we've put together like, you know, TV stands with faux fireplaces in the center, you know, desk chairs, you know, um, the list goes on and on and on. And you couldn't just do this. I mean, this didn't look that involved. Like you could have done this with an Allen key. Yeah. And I think like this is like, I don't know, just like, when you think chili, are you like, oh, I'm going to build a skateboard? Like yeah, this, Again, look, they, <laughs> listen, they saw Marilyn Monroe's car, a white chick. They yeah. skateboarded Ooh. Tony Hawk. Then I, we haven't even gotten to the other two, uh, the the detours or the roadblocks. The roadblocks. Like, literally two of the like whitest things I've ever heard. Like now, now that you list it like that, <laughs> Marilyn Monroe and skateboarding. Awesome. So which detour did you guys like better? The perform for pesos where you had to, they said, learn a short routine. There was no routine. It was just putting the drum on and and doing the chicken wings. They said banging all over the place and then just pedaling for 2,500 pesos. Um, I saw in the chat, I guess you guys were looking into the exchange rate of the peso. How how strong is the Chilean peso right now? Terrible. When I did it, it was like 0.001. Damn. It was two dollars and sixty four three sixty four yeah. cents for me and two sixty three for Kyle. So the rate changed, but sheesh. Yeah, really not. Good I would have done this one by the way. This is what I would have done. Oh, duh. Yeah, absolutely. So to go then instead of climb for clues, climb four story tower. I thought it was six. Or was it six? I had four, but who the hell cares? Six, Either way, wrong. it's a stupid thing to do. Climbing up that tower like. Brand Stark getting pushed down. I ain't doing that crap. Both of you had to do it. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I will. I will say, like, you can like a little like if you just can climb. If you're not afraid of heights, so you can just go up. Like, I, I thought it was more evenly matched. Like I said earlier, than the other one because, like, I mean, if I was walking the streets and I saw Letitia come up to me, I was like, "Can I get some money?" I'd be like, "Absolutely." Like, I don't know why she's so afraid to like. She should have. She could have probably just walked five feet in New York or wherever and be like, "I need, I need money." And somebody would just given her a hundred bucks. See how fast okay. he got that crap. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought I, I really, I really like both. I like Rod and her and her. So I, I was, I was very happy when they rebounded to get back in the race. I, yeah, it's just it was an easy one. Again, it just yeah. a easy choice in my opinion. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, we have the route info for the pit stop. It is the Estacio Mapacho. It is a really big, cool train station that's now a cultural center. Um, last team to arrive will be eliminated. Oh, quick note. Um, we've had other Mario Party references for climbing challenges, so I didn't want to reuse ones. Uh, there's one in Mario Party 9. It's called uh, Peak Precision, and you're like climbing up, and you actually have to grab spots, and you have to hit the actual controller button for what, where you have to grab. Easy. So that's a good one for us. So, Logan, you're welcome. Thank you for watching Still Live. You ain't blogging it live. T- asking us why where the damn Mario party is. <laughs> uh, glad you're having fun, though, still, bud. Uh, we do have the order. I have the order finished because I was taking these great notes. So, I uh, you, actually, you know, Brian, you're doing the order finished. Go for it. All right. Uh, first place, we have Ricky and Caesar. Uh, second place, Juan and Shane. So that's a, that is a change. Yeah. Um, third place, Amber and Vinny. Uh, fourth place, Angie and Danny. Fifth place, Rod and Letitia. Sixth place, Yvonne and Melissa. Seventh place, Sunny and Busy. Eighth place, Derek and Shalisa. And ninth place, and eliminated uh, Krishma and uh, Kishori. Just couldn't. They couldn't shred. I was very happy the grandparents survived. Very happy. Yeah, Derek and Shalisa. They thought the, they were done. I really like them a lot. 
Well, they need. Oh, who to... do you like? Because you haven't been on in a while. Like, where, where, where's your, where's your allegiances here? You know, you know, I don't, I don't have very, very strong feelings towards anyone. I have to be okay. honest. Um, I'm still very, very endeared towards Angie and Danny. I have to look. At They're the my favorites. They are. Yeah, I really like Angie and Danny a lot. Um, but Juan and Shane, I like them too. I might also just like the way they look. Watching them climb the little, uh, the mountain thing. Okay. All right. But like, like, it was I like, like was it a butt shot? I, these are, you're looking, mm-hmm. remember, you, you're catching things I'm not catching. Right. Yeah. No, we, we, we got some nice butt shots out of that. So that, that was quite enjoyable. Some cheeks? Yeah. yeah I, th- I think it was Shane's cheeks. Well, Shane, if you're watching, watching please yeah. confirm were they your cheeks? I believe those were the ones that I found to be of particular interest. <laughs> I also do. I mean, we can't. I mean, it makes it's kind of maybe an obvious pick here, but I, I've been very impressed with Caesar and Richie. Like they, uh, Ricky, they've been really good. They, they. If you're, if you would look at them, mm-hmm. you wouldn't think they would be consistently in the lead. But I, I just really like the attitude they bring. They're having fun while they do it, even when they were lost, even in l- little mini lost. You just, just don't seem to turn on each other. A lot yeah. of these teams f- seem to fight a lot. Like, uh, where are they at? Amber and Vinny. Oh, yeah. I'm worried. Oh, about- the passive aggressiveness there. I'm they, worried they they're talk- going to get in like a fist fight. <laughs> he's he's going to like pull the car over, like you stand remember, one. You remember when we covered the first season? They remind me of that couple in the first Oh, season. they used oh, to I fight. We said they hated each other and they yeah. needed to break up. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, they, I don't remember their names, but they were fighting. So that would have been probably what, like 31, probably. I'm talking season one. Oh. Do you remember that team? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so upset now. I need to go and look, but yeah, I don't remember their names. Logan, but... there's a let us know which which couple yeah. we're talking about. That obviously, was making, like, he was making like rude remarks too. Like he was called. Like, I think they did okay too. I think they yeah, they did like average. Did, like yeah. Um, yeah. another thing I want to point out that I thought was incredible. Did you remember when they're hopping the fences? Yeah, dude, Rod hopped that fence. He just he just went, he did like a dip. He was just like right over. It was like, like a combine impressive. thing. Oh yeah, dude, that was that was I was like, man, that 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 is awesome, dude. You didn't you didn't catch that, Kyle? You didn't like that? I did not. See, catch like that. his like, I might have been on the way to the pizza. Fly um, out of his shirt. This pizza know? was all yeah, over this that episode. Pizza was <laughs> it's a long day. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I kind of enjoy that, like people hopping the fence to get over there, and then like all like Ricky and there's no way Angie and Dan are hopping the fence, um, but I like it. I think this season of Amazing Race has been interesting. It's, you can tell that it was a COVID season, um, but I am glad that they found a way to get these um, episodes put together and released. It would be a shame to have not seen them. I am curious if we are going to get some form of indication here of when the issues occurred, right? Like I, from what I can see, and again, that's something I would like to know, but I'm not going to look up until after the season because we're going to get spoiled. Like where, like at what point during the race did it all go to shit to the point where they had a whole other race happen in air before it? Oh, is that why everyone keeps calling it the COVID season? It's I the thought lost we were season. Saying that because it was just the last season that was done with these COVID protocols. I didn't no. realize. It- Issue. Because la- 35 was back to normal. They were doing travel and they were doing all their stuff. This one's back like with the charter. And mm-hmm. apparently there were some major like travel issues that occurred during the filming that led it to be. I don't know if it was like halted for a while or whatever, but like to the point where, again, they did an entire other season that they filmed and released before this one came out. Yeah. So like, are we going to see like a stark dip in quality at some point? Hmm. Like, I'm very curious. Yeah, I mean, what is this episode too, five? I mean, interesting. Okay, the show ends before Survivor too. So, well, like maybe twelve or thirteen episodes usually. It's a mega yeah, leg next so. week, so no one gets eliminated next week. What'd you say next week? Next week's a mega leg, so no. One's okay, yeah, home. so no one's going home for next episode, but we have eight left. We usually get the three teams for the finale, I think, right? So yeah, four or three, three, something five, like that. 13, 12 or thirteen. So we really only have like seven episodes. Well, it's like Survivor. They just get they just put the first mm-hmm. jury member up, so we're kind of in the same timeline. Yeah, don't get me started on that dumb show. <laughs> that review is coming up next, folks. Um. Kyle, what's going on? Strat chat, Kyle Petty, everything. 
Strat Chat is picking up the Challenge All Stars 4. We're super jazzed about that. Lots of really fun faces coming back. We're covering that live at 8 p.m. on Thursdays. Then uh, Big Brother Canada, 9.30 on Thursdays. And then still marching on with uh, Survivor 46, Mondays at 9. Um, that's the least exciting, I think, of the three. The Viet Cong Death March every Wednesday yeah. from 8 to 9.30 <laughs> on CBS. All our crosses the bear. Yes. We just just take me out of my misery, this. honestly. If that show just like stopped airing next week, I would be like if any of you were so watching and, that. If any of you are watching and want to do our survivor coverage, please just comment below. We'll probably just let you do it. Like Knock honestly, if, out. Yeah, if we just honestly went like to the finale next week and like I had no context what happened, I would be so okay with it because That's we have okay. three hours, we can right. learn all about these dumb jury members and it'd just be done with it. And I'd be like so happy. Yeah, just give me a quick, like, maybe seven-minute recap. Previously on Survivor. Yeah. Survivor. And then yeah, just give me, like, seven minutes. And let me know, like, bang, bang, bang. This is how yeah. the people went out. Bam. Just like a bunch down of the final stuff. three. That's fine. Yeah, I'd be really into that. Fine. Just snuff me out. Please. <laughs> um. Cool. Yeah, so make sure you check out the Strat Chat. They are a lot of fun covering, especially with the Big Brother stuff, all the Australia stuff. We may be uh, looking to cover uh, Farmer Wants a Wife in Australia, Kyle. So uh, mm. that's like the major show down there for these people. So we're, we're probably going to give that a spin. we got to figure out how the hell we're going to watch it with our VPN. If it's yeah. live or next day, if it ends up somewhere. So. Is it nine, the nine, 10 player, 9 player? I don't I, don't I have to look. I have to Google it. I do that after work. So I will do that as soon as I hang up. In between this next review, uh, well, subscribe. That's also on that website that I told you about, Bry. Right, I, I, I will be. Yeah, that one, it gave me that one gave my computer good. a virus and had but no, it didn't. Bad suggestive stuff no, on it. YouTube no. is where I'm watching the first because your website only gave me like the like the sixth season and on, so I need to watch one through five. So I'm watching it on YouTube. It was meat spin, oh. I think. No, it's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't be rude. No, sir. <laughs> this is a family show. Well, like, come on. It's if anyone made it this if anyone made it this far, they're in the in the they're there. There's no way they're like they're worried about Google family. <laughs> Vin Diesel. Um, all right, cool. Um, like I said, check out everything else we have going on. We are covering Survivor, we're covering a ton of Bravo shows, um, Netflix stuff coming up, the circle is coming back soon. Uh, we did already record episode one and two review of the challenge as well. So that will be on the channel already by the time you're watching this. But for myself, Brian, Kyle, everyone in reality, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.